I used to watch that show when I was little. I hadn't really kept up with all the new stuff. Marvel Comics has escaped me. Yes. It's gone on in different directions. I can't keep up anymore. There's some, like way too many movies come out. Um, okay. And, uh, have I seen any good ones lately? Not really. I've seen a lot of weird ones lately. Yeah. Oh, weird ones. Um, nothing really I'd write home about, though. Um, I don't really, I kind of finished the Viking shows. I'm just sort of out in limbo land here. Uh, yeah. Anybody have any good shows they like to binge watch on Netflix? Um, maybe I haven't seen them yet. <laughs> I haven't watched a lot of TV these days, though. But really, uh, just, um, you know, trying to get out more walking, biking, uh, doing that kind of stuff. And uh, so that's that's good for me. So I figure better I better spend more time doing that. Okay, so there we go. We have those all wrapped around. And let me check for dryage. All right, let me do one more blow dry. I'll be back. Okay, we are back, and uh, we are pretty bony bone dry. I would say we are pretty bony bone dry, and that's really what you want. It's just gonna you're gonna get a better result if you're bony bone dry. I think I'm like 99% bony bone dry. I think we're gonna be okay. But right now it's very bumpy. There's like little warples in in the paper because it w I put on a lot of wet white glue mod podge mod podge. I can say that mod podge. And uh, now I'm gonna bring out our old friend sanding block. Yes. And I'm going to use the really rough surface and I'm going to sand the surface down and that's going to get rid of all those little edges and bumpies. It's probably going to take my braille right off too. Oh well. But it's also going to knock down any shiny surfaces and even though I used matte Mod Podge, it's still shiny as you can, you can see there's some shine to it. So um, here we go. Let's do that. There's no rhyme or reason to the, uh, the direction. You can go up and down. You can go left and right. You can swirl a roo and have a great old time. And you'll notice it's a very different feeling. And if you could feel, I wish you could feel the two differences. I mean, this is like baby's bum and this is like, uh, like this, <laughs> uh, nice and rough. So let me just do a little more here. And I would use your hand as the sensor. You'll know when it feels good in the hand. Okay. All right. Very nice. That feels very good. I like it. There's no extraneous bumpies. Rotate. And be prepared to be sanded. Okay. There we go. It's not really hard to sand. It's just you got to keep at it to get down the. Uh, see here, it's still a little bit wet. That's why I'm having this little issue there. Okay, there it seems to be gone. But we're going to do more technique on top, so don't worry if something got peeled away completely. This is um, the napkin, so that might have uh, gotten, you know, disappeared on us a little bit there. Couldn't quite hold up to sanding block. That's all right. We'll try it. We'll try it. Something there. Okay, good, good. Feeling good, feeling smooth. Now, if you do tear away a little paper like I did there, don't sweat about it because we're going to come in with some inking and that's going to fill in these little areas. So it feels very good, feels very smooth. Nope, I just got rid of that little piece there. It's bugging me. Okay, down. Okay, and now let's come in with our ink dauber and some ink. And what ink would you like to use today, Missy? Oh, let's say, let's start with a lovely brown as we like to do. All right, let's see if you can find one. You've only got 45 different ink things over here. Let me look. Where are you? Where are you? Can't have gone far. You hiding? Sometimes he hides. Sometimes he's out right in front of me and won't show himself. No, yeah, not there. Not there. He's out here somewhere. I've got two browns too, so it's not like... Him and, okay, okay, here's walnut stain. Maybe we'll do this one in walnut stain because I found it first. Okay, so now you're saying, but wait, you've got Mod Podge on there and Mod Podge is a slick surface and that's not going to really grab your ink. Well, because we've sanded it, it's going to give it a little tooth so it will grab a little bit. And uh, just to show you the other surface again, I first started with brown and then I added a few other colors. So, 
let's do that. All right, okay, now probably another great moment to grab something to put under your work because we might get a little messy here. All right, here we go. Just going around the town here. It's going to do the outer edges first. Okay, and uh, I'm just going to like a little random where the paper is going to pick it up where those little dry spots were. Okay, yeah, that's good. All right, so see how we've we've knocked it down a level. So bright white, knocked down more vintagey. Okay, and you can keep it. You can, you don't have to um, do this inking. It's just an option. It's just an option. And going around. And then I'm just like random little pattern follow. Yeah, nothing too exact. Okay, we'll try that. And then let's switch over to a different color. Um, what do we got? We've got pinks and blues. Some, uh, how about we do some aged mahogany. I think that's going to pick up that. Okay, here we go. Here's a little aged mahogany. Okay, just gonna do it around the edges a little bit first, the corners. Hew it. Go down to little different angles here. Okay. All right, good. Now it gives it a completely different look, doesn't it? From this, from that to that. So every time you add a color, you add a little more dimension, a little more mystique, a little more something about that. There's just something there. Okay, and I'm going to come down here and go crosswise and follow a little path. All right, there's a little more in there, a little deeper and darker around the edges. I kind of like that. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm going to try that. Okay, and I think I'm going to deepen up these little edges just a smidge, just a smidge -roo. I kind of like that uh, ma aged mahogany. Did I show you the name? Aged mahogany. Yeah, am I recording? Can't see. Oh, can't see it all. Yes. Yes, I am recording. Yay. Okay, now you're saying, hey, but wait, that's all going to smudge off because that's on Mod Podge. And uh, um, rest assured, we have our ways to keep it on there. So hang tight. It's a coming. All right, so now let's go ahead and put those... Um, uh, okay, so next we actually uh, should come in and hew around here a little bit. So let's start with the, the brown. And uh, this is just, this we do quickly because uh, that's not our final treatment on these edges, although you could leave that as that. All right, all right, okay, okay, there we go. And, um, okay, hang on. Okay, I am back. So let's go ahead and put on those two little top pieces, top and bottom pieces. Here's one. And where's the other? Cannot find it. Just had it. That's not it. Okay, one, two. All right, hang on, I'll be right back. Yes, yes, I found them. Okay, they were right where I left them, imagine that. Okay, so we are gonna use our old Fabrifix glue. All right, so I'm just gonna put some glue right here. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I am going to put this down and wrap it over the top. Mm -hmm. And where you want it to go is only on the spine. You don't want it to go over the folds of the spine. So just keep it on the spine and then just glue her down. Just glue her down like she's going to stay there forever because she is. All right. And then just maybe actually glue this thing. It's always best to glue the thing you're gluing because then you know you're going to be in the right dimensions and right locale. Okay. And oh, let's just glue this. <laughs> it's faster. I got that there. Let's start there. For goodness sake. Somebody's got to break some rules around here. Might as well be me. All right. And this just is going to cover this little butt end. You don't have to do this if you have a pretty spine that is already fine, but mine is from scratch, so I do need to do a little um, hidden decorative work here. There's, uh, I think these things are called headbands. If I, I could be wrong about that, but I think they're called headbands. Okay, so now we have that. All right, all nice and flatty flat. 
You're not flatty flat. Looks, I didn't glue you down. Okay, it's not your fault. I didn't glue you down. Yes, not that you were misbehaving. No. Okay, now you're all glued down. That's right. Okay, so that's the outside of the book. This is the inside of the book. And then we are going to put one more strip down here. Where is it? This? Yes, but first we are going to put two uh, pieces of paper to cover our insides of our journal. So let me go get a scrapbook paper. Okay, so uh, this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to put this piece of paper in here. Oh, we have Twitter pants back. Sorry, I had to open the door. It was so hot in here. Um, hopefully he'll be quiet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we can hope. And uh, okay, so I need to... Where is my... Nowhere to be found. Nope, it's gone. Uh, my uh, bone folder. I'm going to use my scissors instead. But I'm just going to measure this by putting it where I want. Yes, Holly, I'm going to put it where I want. I'm going to make a little mark. Yep, Twitter pants. I hear you. He's like, where's my nighttime treat? My nighttime treat. Okay. Make a little mark there. So I'm going to go over to my guillotine and cut here and here. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I uh, used one as the template for the other one. So that was an easy cut. So I'm going to go ahead and ink around these with walnut stain, I think, because that's what we used on the outside. I could use aged mahogany. Let me see. Very red, very red. Uh, let's do the brown first. We can always go from there. It's nice to build with these colors. Whoops. Okay, there you go. I gotcha. Um, all right, so go ahead and just, this is going to make it pop a little bit against the cover, the inside of the cover, and it's going to give it a little bit more of an antique aged weathered look. I say that a lot, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, that's what happens when you're making journals. You start saying the same things over and over. Um, but uh, this is, it's, none of this is complicated. It's just maybe a little more time consuming than making an embellishment or something like that. But, uh, you know, this is the big, the big daddy here, the, uh, the, um, the journal itself. So cover is very important. All right, let me just move this over so I can have some more elbow room to play with my, uh, my daubers. Okay, I get more hewing going on. All right. Yeah, more vignetting. Yeah, I think I feel like vignetting. I don't know why I'm in a vignette mode today. All right, yeah, I think that looks good. And we'll do the same with the other side. And you can always come in and add more later, but this will get you started, you know? This will get you started. Hmm. Just get the sharp crisp. But when you do this on the edges, it becomes a little sharper and crisper on the edges. And then when you go around and you softly hew it in, you can layer in the depth of the ink to give it more of a old world look. I admit, that's what I think anyway. I didn't read that out of a book or anything. It's right here. Okay, hewing. Hewing. Now, if you find you get too many circles, you just sort of buff them out by going lighter, lighter pressure, and you won't get as many circles. Okay, you can kind of buff them out a little bit, blend them in with the background. Yeah, that's kind of a good way to knock that back a little bit. All right, here we are. And do we want a little edge with the, yeah, why not? We just put a little, little, little around the edges, just on the corners maybe with the aged mahogany since it's on the front cover we're thinking unity here okay oh, i think he's gonna start singing oh, that might be nice maybe he'll stop with the um smoke alarm and switch over to let's we'll sing a song with him hollywood hollywood la 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 hollywood okay sorry okay i can get him to sing he likes to, yeah, he likes to sing his own name. <laughs> yeah. My little, my little self, self-fulfilled boy there. He's just uh, totally into himself. <laughs> That's okay. That's all, he's got nothing else to do all day except look at himself in the mirror and walk around the kitchen. So, um, although he does go visit the lovebirds sometimes. Yes, he does. All right, we're going to glue that down. I'm going to use Fabrifix. And stay close to the edges. Can you see? I'm sorry if I'm off screen. 
and here and here and here big X and then going about the town yep Got some good coverage on the core edges because we're gonna come around with finger tool and this is always very helpful okay if you do this little technique it'll take your glue right to the edges you'll have a nice gluey finger but your edges will stick down very nicely and you won't have those curly uppies that we are always battling with it seems okay i'll put my roses in the right direction yeah okay we're trying out some different vocalizations tonight yes mom thought you might like that one okay, right. okay we are where we are at this point with this guy okay there we go Let's motor on over to the other side. Glue this pup down. Well, thanks for hanging out with me. You guys are awesome. And, uh, you know, this is, I'm so appreciative that you guys like to uh, just, you know, turn the old YouTube boob tube on and craft a rama or just watch or lurk or ask questions or comments or hang out, have fun, laugh, giggle. Um, you know, watch me not be able to find my stuff <laughs> for hours. And, uh, you know, it really, it helps me to know that you guys are out there. And, um, you know, thank you so much for all your support and encouragement. I can't tell you how much that means. And um, I love that we're having fun together because uh, that's the name of the game here. Absolutely. Everybody's got to get their dose of fun every day. And uh, I hope I can be part of that. I'm, I know that you're part of that for me. So um, you can come in here with a brayer or your hand. Both work very well. Back of the hand works very well. And uh, there we go. So we have that. And now we just need to put on our little innard piece. Here is innard piece all prepared and ready. Mm hmm. Okay. It's lovely when you have glue on your hands and you're trying to do this stuff. Everything sticks to your fingers. Okay. So. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Same thing, Fabrifix glue. Lots of glue here is a good idea. Don't forget to go in the little valley. The little valley. And you want to go to the very bottom. Lots of glue. Now I'm getting to the bottom of my glue thing here. Might have to crack out a new one. My goodness. That happens around these parts. Okay, I'm just going to put a bead down here. Probably better if I waited and put it on the actual substrate. But no, no, I'm breaking my own rule. Okay, we'll see how that disaster goes. All right, here we are. Here we are. Putting this all together. Totally stuck to the fingers. And trying for center. Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. Oh, we're straight. Yeah, we're pretty straight, actually. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. There's my bone folder. Found it. Yep. Just popped right in view. You want to go in here and, and put these little creases down. Get in the valley. In the valley. Get to go in the valley. All right, there we go. That's very good. Okay, so that's the inside of our book and just want to make sure these might not be totally all the way to the edge. So just come on along here and put a little bead on the edge of what you want to, your substrate, what you're going to glue down. That way, you, you know, you won't go past that and just pat. Don't smush, just kind of pat. Yeah, this side's pretty good. I think I got it. And I might trim this a little off a little bit. But I want to show you the other side. So let's flip that over. And here is our, yes, the palm tree was on the front cover. So we're going to put this down. And uh, I'm going to pull off any loosey goosies. And then we have to make the big decision of which way we want this to go. And you can always trim the loosey goosies after too. Um, here we go. This way. Or it feels like it wants to go that way, doesn't it? Yeah, totally. Totally. Oh, yeah. This one's wide enough. Oh my gosh, it's not wide enough yet. We just might just barely make it. Just barely make it. Okay, I think we have to trim a little. I think we have to trim a little. It's a smidgeroo long. Yes, it is. Don't have my glasses on. Better put those on. Oh, to goodness, we can cut a straight line. All right, and 
uh, oh, I inked this up a little bit, I think. Yeah. I did some brown, uh, black on it, actually, on this one. But let me take a look, see what we're going to do on this one. I think I'm going to start with brown. I'm going to go this way. Got a brown edge there already. That's the natural. I think that's the, or it just picked, it just picked up the dye. Actually, it's not the natural edge. But we can come in here with more brown because we, we have vintage photo. And that will age and weather and old world it even more, which is kind of cool. See how when you go over these with this, it even pops it more. So the, um, the inks are very handy when it comes to coloring fabrics. Um, you can def it's, if you had, if you could only get some fabric, I would say get some uh, neutrals, get some light whites, light color, light colors, um, so that you can color them any color you want. And that way you have uh, lots of variety at your fingertips any time of the day or night. Yep. Mm -hmm. Did we say we're going to go this way or that way? Can't remember now. That looks upside down to me for some reason. This looks like it's a jar and I want it to be upright. It's not a jar, but it feels like a jar. Okay. Okay, let's glue that. Okay, I think I might need one more piece of paper there. I really, I, I'm feeling like I do. Okay, let's see. Now this is way under, you know, I need something. I've got some of this showing here, and I'm going to have to come in at the 11th hour and glue this down and make it look like it matches everything else. There we go. Okay, I got that. I shied it a little. I sh okay, now we got some down here too. Look at that. All right, here, how about we do something? Mm, doo -doo 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 -doo. Coming in for big rescue. Ba -da 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 -da. Yep. Uh, maybe just put a little bit more right, right down this little row here. I got a funny feeling I, I just need a little more. I need a little more. You better put it in there. All right, here we go. Yeah, phew is right, Holly. Better, good thing I spotted that then and when. So apparently you need to go a little further over than I thought earlier. Yeah, yeah, apparently so. Yeah, what was I thinking? What, what, I don't know. I must have run amok. I ran amok, but there's ways to fix it, so it's okay. All right, here we go. Oh, there, okay, now come back and tap this down with some brown and uh, this is all going to be sealed at the end so don't worry these are going to get um, coverage as well and I think we have enough for the front so let me just double check for sure yeah we are definitely covered there and that's even on both sides yeah we are good okay cross check complete okay now the question was do we want to um, do you know what there was a question? The question was, um, do we want to go this side or this side? So A or B? Hmm. I'm kind of thinking A in this one for some reason. I don't know why. I know it's just different. Maybe it's different and I need, I need different at this point. So let's ink this up a little bit. And we will put this down and that will give us a nice spine that has some, yes, aging and weathering. You guessed it. You guessed it. So you can use either sides of these if you have that brocade style um, upholstery fabric. You don't have to have upholstery fabric, but if you happen to have it. I, I got mine at Goodwill. I didn't, I didn't pay oodles of money for it or anything. I just, uh, people have leftovers and uh, it's very inexpensive to buy there. And why not put it to good use? right? Better than a landfill. And certainly didn't have enough to cover a chair, but I can make a spine with it. I can make a spine cover. Okay, that's kind of cool, right? And then we can even amp it up more when we, when we get it on the book. We can, we can have a little play. All right, so let's go ahead and glue this pup down. Just make sure I have enough equidistant on both sides. Yes. Okay. So here we are with the glue again. Yes, we're gluing when we're gluing. And uh, now I kind of wish I had my regular Fabrifix because I need more glue and I'm getting to the bottom. Can you see? All right, here we go. Get the threads out of the way. Lots of threads. 
Oh yeah, working with fabric, going in the valley. Don't forget the valley because you want it to stick in there. And then come down the other valley. Okay. Yeah. And then get really good on the edges. Make sure you have enough in the middle. And then good on the edges. Enough here. And then come a little down the side just to get your anchorage started. Down this side. Anchorage started. Yep. Yep, or do. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, let's put this down. Probably put it on the wrong side. Okay, here we go. Here you go. Strings everywhere. Help! 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 <laughs> okay. Oop. Okay, there we go. All right. And good. Equidistant. Good. Everybody's covered. Good. We're at the top. You want to make sure you come to the top enough, just to the top, just to the bottom. Place, push, find your valley. Okay, get in your valley. Bone folders are really handy for this kind of work here. You can use scissors, but sometimes you risk tearing it with the scissor edge. Like let's say, you know, you might want to come down here and, and use your scissor edge. You can do that, but honestly, the bone folder is the tool. If you have to invest in something, I think you can get them like five or seven dollars or something like that. Um, I think the link is in the Amazon store if you're looking for one, but you can buy them at any at any store. Uh, probably, I would I I would imagine Hobby Lobby and Michaels carry them, and also uh, you know Joanne Crafts and all that. They probably I don't know if they would have them, but um, uh, and maybe even Walmart has a bowl and folder. Who knows? But um, they're they're easy to find online. Yeah, and you can get synthetic ones. Doesn't have to really be bone. Don't worry. Um, Okay, I'm going to do some trimming there. And turn it over. Okay. Up here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. All right. There we go. There we go. All right. And you're in. And you're in. Okay. That's everybody's good. Okay. And the fabric fix grabs pretty fast, so there's not a lot of, uh, you know, yowling, complaining. Nope, nope, there's not much at all going on. So now I'm just going to train it a little bit around the spine to let it know where it's going to live. Okay. And where are we time-wise? Oh, my goodness, we're, we're going on to video number three, I think, pretty soon. Um, yeah, so this is a little bit more, I guess, more of an, you know, beyond the collage. The collage is pretty easy, but then all this extra stuff does take a little bit of time. And um, I just might as well show you the rest of it since we're here and I got the stuff out. So let me go ahead and accent this up. So this is what we have so far. Okay, you see that? That's oh, what we have so far. Okay, and um, we've got to do a few things yet. We need to put on our... Boo, 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 boo. This guy needs to go on the front. And what I do with this guy is I tear the paper out now that he's all nice and dry from behind using him as a template to get off as much as I can. And then old friend sanding block and strings and paper come in and we use this to uh, get it all, all nice and get any of the extras off. Any of the little fuzzies that are showing. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So that's going to be our front page. I'm going to do a little trimming. And let's see, we're going to put a little book plate on there. That's kind of cool, huh? And uh, so I just put little fabric fix on the back of this guy. Put them around. Glue them up. Be careful you don't put too much glue because then you get glue ooze. And you don't want that on the front of your journal. Okay. So now I'm trying to put it straight. Oh, there's a tricky part for me. I think i got to hold it. Look at it. Does it look straight? Yep, I think that's straight. A little over this way. Okay. 
and uh, you can go and remove any glue globs that come out a little after. Let me double check. Straightness. Okay, I think that's good. Oh, I like that actually. That's looking really pretty. Um, okay, and we're going to finish with the um, corners. So if you've never done the corner things before, I just like to add a little bit of security glue in here. This is Fabrifix again. And then I put, on, whoa, there goes my water. Okay, retrieval. Um, let me zoom you in so you can see how this is done. Okay. Um, the glue is in there and I put it on. Yes, that is my technique. <laughs> but actually my, my trick technique is I, I take this thing, it's a little, uh, uh, nylon wired nylon pliers for jewelry, but I use the end to tap it on, give it nice and snug. Okay. And you want to check to make sure that these edges, oh, these edges are close to your book. All right. And then squeeze the backs. This kind of one you can squeeze. Some of them you can't squeeze, but uh, I like to go in here and uh, nylon wire clamp it down to make sure it's got a good grasp. Don't over clamp or else you'll bend the metal a lot. So you just want to like nudge clamp, nudge clamp. Yeah, very good. All right, we're gonna go do the next one. Try and stay in frame for you. Would be nice, right? Okay. Okay, got some glue in the gusset there. Putting this on just like that, uh, pinching a little. Okay, tap, tap, get it nice down. Sometimes you'll see some glue ooze out. You want to deal with that now. Pinch if it's pinchable. Let me show you the backside. See what the backside looks like. Okay, and uh, come in with. You want to use the um, um, nylon ones because then you won't make marks in your metal as much. Um, if you don't have the nylon one, you can put cloth there. And then use, you know, regular um, pliers or jewelry pliers or just hand squeeze it. The glue will help it grab. Okay. Make sure this is down enough. Okay. Fine, fine. Very good. Okay. That seems a little long there. We're going to have to, we're going to have to deal with that. Um, okay. So I'm going to do these other two and then... We are just about home free, but I did want to show you the whole process. So if you're still hanging with me, thank you. And, um, you know, sometimes we don't do a lot of covers and it's good to see a cover every once in a while. So let's do this one from the back and see that there. Okay. Let's tap that on. Oh, my frame. Yep. Uh, fold. These might overlap a bit too. Okay. So just be prepared for that. It's okay.